and our top focus will be on right now. The war in Gaza is showing no signs of stopping. Hours after Hamas rockets killed three IDF soldiers, Israel retaliated by striking Gaza's southernmost city of Rafah. Well, according to Hamas's health officials, the Israeli airstrikes killed at least 22 people, including six women and five children. And one of them was just five days old. According to reports, at least nine people were killed in a single strike that hit a residential house. The Israeli military has confirmed the counter-strike, saying it struck the launcher from which the Hamas projectiles were fired, as well as a nearby military structure. Following the Israeli airstrike, wounded Palestinians were taken to a nearby hospital there. Moreover, Israel's government has moved to shut down the operations of a prominent media network, Al Jazeera, in the country, branding it as a mouthpiece for Hamas. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that the cabinet agreed to the closure while the war in Gaza is ongoing. Netanyahu cited that the network threatened Israel's national security. The measure issued on Sunday includes closing Al Jazeera's offices in Israel, confiscating broadcast equipment, cutting off the channel from cable and satellite companies and also blocking its websites as long as the war continues in Gaza. After the order was issued, Israeli authorities and officials raided a Jerusalem hotel room used by Al Jazeera as its office. Al Jazeera has condemned Israel's move to shut down the network. They say that the move is a criminal action and that the accusation that the network threatens Israel's security is a dangerous and it's a lie that puts its journalists at a risk. The network says it reserves the right to pursue every legal step. All the equipments were taken away from one of our life positions. We, uh, our, the safety of our, of our journalists is, is very important. We will continue to abide by the law and uh, I think uh, uh, in the coming days we will try to pursue all legal uh, paths to counter this. Uh, but for now, uh, the coverage will continue, the impartial coverage will continue.